Hare Krishna. Question, when a man and a woman procreate, sometimes a child is born and sometimes a child is not born, we say that it is due to Krishna's blessings that actually conception takes place. So uh, now what exactly happens uh, when if the soul is present in the semen and is entering into the egg then uh, what exactly is Krishna, what, why doesn't conception always happen and how does Krishna's blessing play a role in the union of the semen with the egg and sometimes miscarriage happens so we understand that it is also it is because of karma but how exactly are the karma, Krishna's blessings and the physical union of the semen and the uh, and the egg and the role of the soul how do they all interrelate answer yes karmana daiva netrena jantor dehapatite bhagavatam says that the whole process of the soul getting a body happens under the supervision of daiva daiva ultimately is the supreme lord krishna so when we work on when when a couple wants to have a child at that time when they unite so the <clears throat> it is sometimes biological factors are found out if, if say after a union the couple is not able to conceive so sometimes biological factors are found out where because of which say the couple is not able to conceive but sometimes even when biologically both the male and the female are fit still the child they still they don't have a child and when that happens, the, the reason for that is quite often a biological, is, is, is not medically very easily comprehensible and the doctors may give some medicines or keep, tell the parents to keep trying, tell the prospective parents to keep trying, aspiring parents to keep trying and the, this, how it works is that the soul is present in the semen but if we look at uh, biologically speaking the there are when there is union <coughs> there are sperms uh, <coughs> and uh, the sperm has to move uh, till it reaches the female <coughs> uh, female the, the egg in the female body and there the union has to take place now many sperms may enter but the but a sperm may not reach the egg even if it reaches the egg, it may not penetrate and unite. So there is, from the biological point of view itself, researchers who study the whole process that how perilous the journey of the semen to the egg is and how uh, how actually the possibility of the two uniting is low. So when we see that actually happening, we understand that it is it is not something which uh, is just uh, from the biological point of view we may say it is all just left to chance some souls are able to reach the egg some souls are able to penetrate the egg some souls are able to unite, unite and fertilization happens some not some souls some sperms rather some sperms uh, some, some sperms are able to some sperms are not able to so how exactly all this happens so that is something which we uh, which is not just up to chance krishna says everything in material nature happens under his supervision so, from a biological point of view, uh, we can say that the that the <coughs> sperm is not reaching the egg, and that's why the union is not happening, uh, and that's why the uh, conception is not moving forward towards fertilization and the having of a child. So now the uh, the uh, when this happens, when that it doesn't happen, yes, from a medical perspective, we can and create. Uh, uh, remove certain biological obstacles, create biologically conducive circumstances, but they alone don't necessarily determine that uh, that uh, conception will take place. So that is ultimately so whether a uh, semen now uh, it's not necessary that all the sperms that enter into the um, female body, all of them are going to contain souls. Uh, some of them may contain several of them may contain it will vary according to time place circumstance and <laughs> that that soul whose consciousness is compatible with the consciousness of the parents and that soul which is destined by karma to get that particular body that particular uh, semen that particular sperm will actually enter into the um, egg and unite and then fertilize so when the super soul the supreme lord supervises everything daiva 
is what karmana daiva netra and supervise but karmana so it is according to karma so sometimes by karma uh, couple may not have the this very karmic credits to get a child and that's why even though biologically things are fine even though both of them are trying but still despite all the material factors being fine because of the lack of uh, material means biological level factors being fine still the because of the lack of karmic credits they will not get a child and <clears throat> sometimes by the same count uh, the child that is growing in the mother's womb that child may be lost so when miscarriage happens what that means is that particular soul was by one's karma uh, not meant to get a body in that particular body uh, so that means the soul was got to that particular body for a particular duration and then without coming out of the womb without being born the soul loses that body so we live in an interconnected uh, so interconnected web of uh, karma so that means uh, say one family member gets a sickness it is not that that family member alone of alone tr- gets is troubled by that the other family members are also troubled so if a uh, if there is a miscarriage then we understand that it is a part of uh, it is uh, it is because uh, the <coughs> karmic reactions of the soul and the parents they are all coming together at that particular time now of course karmic reactions doesn't mean that we don't look at biological causes it doesn't mean that we don't correct biological causes if there are any yes we have our duty to do and we have our dharma to do in this life so if the parents if the doctors predict that there are some that the pregnancy is going to be troubled some problems are going to be there then whatever preventive measures whatever protective measures need to can be taken they should be taken so after doing that if despite the best efforts if the child is has if there is miscarriage then that means that uh, the soul did enter through this sperm and the egg, there was union and the egg did grow and fertilize so soul was there but that soul did not have the karma to have that particular body and that's why before the soul came out of the womb in that body the soul uh, left that body and then went to karma daiva netra and again when divine supervision to some other body thank you hare krishna